six foot long. Wahoo, Amanda Jack. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Nice time with him. Today we caught uh, wahoo, we caught five species, wahoo, mahi, aka uh, dorado, most people know it as dorado, dolphin, uh, bonita, jack, crevel, and uh, uh, sierra macarella. So right now during the green season is the best time for fishing which is sort of ironic because all the tourists come in January, February, and March, and April, but the fishing is the best during the so-called rainy or green season when the rivers get flushed out and all the debris comes out of the rivers, the logs and trash and things of that nature. Then you get the mahi inside. You're gonna get yellowfin, they're coming inside. Wahoo are here now. And uh, mahi are here. So, now is the best time in July, August, September, October, through November is the best time to come for fishing here. And all these boats, you'll see here, only a few are for hire for sports fishing. And what you want to look for when you're trying to find a, a boat to go out on is the first rule is what species do you want to raise? And is it available? Because in January, you're not gonna get a lot of mahi. So, but if you come in August, you're gonna get bull mahi that can run five to six feet long. The other thing you wanna look for is, are you dealing direct with the captain or are you going through a middleman? The best thing I can tell people to do is come to the beach, hang around for an hour. All the captains come here at six, seven o'clock in the morning, and you interview them. You come up to them and say, hey, what did you catch today? What's, what's going on right now? What are your rates? And get different quotes. Are they bilingual? How's your first mate? Who do you use for first mate? What, what does your boat look like? Is your boat licensed? Is it insured? Does it have life jackets? You want to find out all these things because nine out of 10 times, the boats aren't licensed, aren't insured. So if that's a concern of yours, you want to make sure you find that out before. Do you want a bathroom on board? Do you want a, a, an air-conditioned cabin? You know, all the boats are available from a tiny panga up to a big cabin cruiser. What is your rate? Half day, quarter day? Do you want to go bottom fishing? Do you want to troll? Do you want to throw poppers? Do you want to, are you an active fisherman? Are you a beginner? Are you a, an expert? Do you like to throw top poppers? Do you like to jig on the bottom? Do you like to drop cut bait, sardine? You want red snapper? It depends on what you want, what kind of style of fishing you want to do. Does your captain have the equipment? A lot of captains only have trolling reels or open face reels. You want a captain that has spinning rods because it's if you catch a, a two pound mahi on a big reel, it's like overkill. You want to use a lightweight rod, you get more play, more fun, more action. A lot of captains don't have spinning equipment. They only have big, huge trolling rods. You know, because they always think they're going for marlin and sail. But that's not true. More and more fish are caught now closer to shore, and you get more play, more action on a lightweight rod. So it makes it a lot more enjoyable, especially if you have kids. They want to catch smaller fish, like small mahi, they can handle it, instead of a big jack or a, you know, or a big wahoo. Today we caught a six foot wahoo, must have weighed 50 pounds, right out of the gate, right at six o'clock this morning. So what I do is provide that service, find out what the client's needs are, and then talk to the captains to see if they can accommodate the client. And I go along sort of as another captain because when you have your captain throwing poppers and then me throwing poppers, that doubles your chances of catching fish. <clears throat> so what I do is market these guys down here and then I go along and fish for free. That's my commission because I enjoy fishing so much. 
I just go out for the ride and help the people catch fish. Yeah, so I wanted to introduce you guys to one of the best captains here in the Coco uh, area because one of the reasons I say that, he can do everything. We can top, throw poppers on top, jig on the bottom, troll, troll deep for rooster. And uh, he knows the area. He's born and raised here, obviously. And uh, I pretty much use him exclusively because he's the hardest working captain here. He's bilingual. He's licensed, insured, registered with the harbor master. And uh, we had a pretty good day today. We started out early. Big wow, big wow. Yeah. So. Big wow, Capo Mahi, Jack Bell. We got some fun. Yeah, yeah. 80 pound wow. Yeah, nice wow. Six foot wow. Uh, I know everything about fishing. And, uh, you build his own boat. <laughs> We have a good equipment, light tackles and big tackles for big fish also. No problem. Yeah, the other thing you want to look for too is we run a complete service. We, we get the live bait or sardine if we're bottom fishing, uh, blue runner, green jack, uh, ladyfish. We catch all the live fish. If we're going for a rooster, we catch it on the way perhaps down to Catalina or up north to Bat Island. And then once we catch the fish and it's suitable for the client, we fillet it, bag it, we keep it on ice the entire trip. Another big issue when you come to Costa Rica and want a sports fish, let's say your wife's not really into it, she wants to go to the spa, but you want to go out for a half a day and catch that trophy sail or marlin, or just a rooster or wahoo or mahi inshore, but you don't have a group with you, you don't have two or three other buddies that want to go out, so what we do is we match you up with other similar ang anglers so you can break up the cost. We can customize a trip depending on what species you want to raise, how much money you want to spend. Maybe you just want a bottom fish for red snapper. They're always here. You can use cut sardine and catch little pan fry snapper. Bring the kids, bring the wife. You're a mile offshore. You don't have to worry about getting sunburned. You don't have to worry about too much about seasickness because you're close to shore. And those little pan fry red snapper cook up really great at the local soda. And you can fly fish for snook. We can find some trash lines and, and hit some mahi under the trash lines. We had a guy a couple weeks ago who caught 10 mahi on a fly rod. So we can do all that type of thing. And that's what's nice about knowing someone on the ground here that knows which captain can facilitate what you want to do. And then a lot of times, once you find a captain you can trust who's bilingual, and when you come back the next year, you're going to use that same captain, or you're going to know someone that that he knows and and they, that you can trust.